So that is some of the chemistry and science behind making this super yummy mint ice cream. Did yeah. you know you can learn science by cooking and making ice cream? <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right. Hey everyone, today we're making mint chocolate ice cream. That's right, so we got a brand new ice cream maker right here, don't we? Yes, we do. And the first step you need to do is get your cream. Cream, okay. Cream and put it on the stove. It's on medium right now, so we'll pour that in. Okay, so you're adding cream. So we're making a mint chocolate ice cream, so that's the first step. And then we're gonna add whole milk. Whole milk. Into. Okay, good job. And then we're gonna add some sugar. You're gonna add some sugar. Now you're gonna just dissolve all the sugar in it, but you gotta make sure it doesn't do what? To, um, boil. You can't have it boil. Or that will ruin it. That's right. So now we're gonna mix, mix it until it's heated, but okay. not boiling. So you're gonna mix it till it's heated. So while she's doing that, we're gonna tell you we have the super cool new ice cream maker right here. So you put it in the bowl and it spins. And we're making mint chocolate chip ice cream with what kind of mint? Andy's mint. That's right, we're gonna use these Andy mints right here for our ice cream. So you hear that? Do you like Andy's mints, assistant? Yeah, I like them. They're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. All right, so you're dissolving that sugar into the cream, right? Cream and whole milk. Cream and whole milk. Ooh, this is gonna be good. And then we're gonna melt the chocolate when we're done, right? Right, it's almost heated. Good job. All right, now that our, um, uh, the stuff that was in here is ready, we are going to make the, we're gonna finish off the base. Okay, and what do you gotta do? You have to put egg, eggs, egg yolks. Right? Yep, egg so yolks. four egg yolks, right, in there. Right. So each one of those containers has two egg yolks, right? Right, all right. Getting that in there. Good, good. Okay. Now you whisk them up, right? Whisk it until it's like, like that. Okay. So I don't think it needs a lot of whisking for the first part. Okay, and then now what do you do? You get one cup of, or like about one cup of the stuff that's in here and put it right in there and put it in your eggs. Okay. This is so the eggs don't cook when when we put it in there and stir for eight minutes. Okay, so you're gonna you got you're mixing it in in this bowl right here. You have so to you make have four egg yolks, and you take one cup out of your solution that we just made. Make sure it's fully combined before you put it back in there. Okay, so you gotta fully combine it, and you gotta put it in there and have it in there for how long? Eight minutes, and make sure you're constantly stirring or whisking. All right, does that look good? It looks good to me. Okay, we're all good. Now we're gonna pour that right in there. And now we're gonna whisk for eight minutes. Eight minutes. We won't make you people at home watch the entire eight minutes of the assistant whisking it, right? Right. All right, so we're doing that and then we're gonna go into start doing some other fun things. So this is a really kind of complicated ice cream mixture, isn't it, assistant? Yeah, it is. So it's a lot easier just to go to, you know, the store and buy ice cream, but we're making a special kind of mint chocolate ice cream that we're pretty excited for. Yeah. All right, the mixture is fully combined, and I'm gonna hold the strainer. Yeah, you've gotta strain the solution, right? Right, um, so I'll hold the strainer. And we're gonna pour that through the strainer to strain out any kind of like little chunks that might be in there, right? Because we don't want any chunky ice like cream. Like sugar. Chunks, or any kind of curled milk or anything like that. All right, so we got that whole poured in. Good job. Ooh, look at that. All right, now we've got to make our chocolate. Right? Um. Yes. So now we we use a combination of three cups of chocolate chips, and then pick up that unsweetened chocolate. And then some unsweetened chocolate, right? Right. So we have this all right in there. And now we are going to add our Andy's add mints. Andy's mints. So we're going to use four Andy's mints. Yep. So let's pull the wrappers off them. So there they are. 
This Air is what's going to give us our minty flavor, right? Do you want me to break it up? Or no, we're just going to melt it, right? Okay. Here we go. Adding them in. All right, now we're going to put down a double boiler, right? And we're going to melt the chocolate. Then we're going to combine the chocolate with our base right there. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And we got to let it chill in the refrigerator for like quite a while, don't we? Yeah. And then we're going to put it in the ice cream maker. All right, so let's start melting that chocolate, okay? Let's go. All right, so we're mixing this in, and um, it's starting to melt a little bit. So you're starting to melt the chocolate, right? Right, and it will take this process. Will the chocolate chips will melt? Um, will melt faster, but the like the um unsweetened chocolate will take a little bit longer. Yeah, because it's bigger pieces, right? So you're you're melting that, and then you have to slowly add our our mixture that we made, right? Right into this. All right, so she melted the chocolate, and then she's gonna add some. All right, it's almost done. Yeah, you got almost all those chunks out of it, don't you, sister? Yep. And now we are going to put one cup of our custard base. So actually, what we're making is so we're not even really making ice cream. We're making what kind? What are we making? We're making gelato. Gelato. So we're using this custard mix right here. I'll help you pour it in. Okay. Thank so keep you. stirring it. Keep stirring. And uh, the chocolate needs to be all the way melted. That way it can combine with our mixture. That's right. So I'm gonna... All right. So you want to use that or do we use a whisk? We use a... Uh, we use the whisk, don't we? We use a whisk, right. Yeah. Um, so you can hear. Why don't you scrape that off with the whisk? And then we're going to add some more solution to it. Here we go. While we're stirring. So you put that right there. All right. Keep stirring. Are you excited for our chocolate, mint chocolate chip ice cream? Yeah, it's right. looking really chocolatey. Oh, look at how it chocolate. smells like mint. Ooh, this could... Oh, it does, doesn't it? All right, so we'll add a little bit more of the custard. It kind of looks like hot chocolate right now. Mm-hmm. And we've got to cool it, right? Right, See. in the refrigerator for some time. All right. It's getting close. Add a little bit more. Mm-mm-mm. This looks like the type of thing you could add marshmallows to. That's right, but we're making we're making like it's like a gelato ice cream custard, right? Right. Ooh. Add a little bit more. So so far we've added probably about two thirds of our custard base, right? Right. We're now we're going to just keep mixing until we have all of it. And then we're going to put it in a special container so we can put it in the refrigerator. Airtight container. Airtight container. Because one of the things they said was that. Um, if it's not airtight, it can actually take some of the flavors that are in the refrigerator. Do you know that, assistant? So if you had this in the refrigerator and it wasn't like airtight and you had like Brussels broccoli? sprouts or broccoli, oh. you could have like Brussels sprouts and broccoli or ice cream. Sour Patch Kids? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Or like. That would be sour ice cream. Or rotten eggs? Ooh. Oh. Deviled eggs. Oh. Deviled eggs. You'd have deviled egg ice cream, right? Oh, that would not be good. Yeah, so you definitely want to make sure that you have an airtight container. That's right, so we're going to pour the rest of this in, and we're going to keep mixing it up, right? Right. And we're going to put it in our airtight container, we're going to chill it, and then we're going to show you the step where we actually start making the ice cream, right? Right. In our ice cream maker. All right, so that's going to take a little bit of time for us to get it all chilled out and ready to go. So we'll see you... When we're ready to make ready? the ice cream. Snap your out, you're ready, go! <laughs> We're back! We're back, assistant, and look. Ooh. This is our mix, all cooled. It's all cooled. We've chilled it, and it's been, you know, a, a bit. So it's cooled off, and we're ready to put it into the actual ice cream maker. All right. So, you so just, we're going to pour it in. You're just going to dump it in there. Just like that. And see how it works is it turns, and it actually mixes it at the same time, nice and slowly. And that gives us a really creamy gelato ice cream custard mix, right? Right. So now that we're done adding that. So look, so it's just like a giant bowl, right? Right. Um, now we're going to set it to 20 minutes. We're going to put the lid on we're first. We're going to put the lid on first. Just in case.
in case it wants to spill. So now we're gonna turn the dial to 20 minutes. To 20 minutes. And then push both buttons. That button makes it cool, and that button makes it turn. And look at it go. So I'm good. gonna pull this half off just for a second so you guys can see it. Isn't that cool? That's gonna be our mint chocolate ice cream in about 20 minutes. Right, Susan? Right. Right. Okay, you? we'll see you in 20 minutes. We'll see you in a 20 minutes. We're gonna get it right before it ends, right? Right. All right, let's, let's see what it looks like. We're back. We're back, assistant, and our uh, ice cream is getting... Thicker and thicker. Look at how thick it's getting. It's starting to stick to the side, see? And that means it's getting thicker. Yep, and so we're not quite done yet. So Just this a is a little our bit left. Mint chocolate ice cream. Gelato, right, that we're making. Right. Ooh. Are you excited for it? Yeah, I'm super excited so for it. So it's getting pretty close. So we're going to, when we show you next time, it's gonna be completely ready to go. So let's look at it a little bit closer. Ooh. Ooh, it looks so good. So this ice cream maker actually cools it and chills it. So the edges of the bowl that it's stirring in get really, really cold. And that's why it sticks to the sides. So the ice cream freezes from the outside in and it keeps mixing it. And that's how it keeps getting thicker and thicker. Yeah. So that's how the science of making this ice cream works. We had to add the milk and the cream and then we added the sugar, sugar. to it to create a mixture, right? And then we added <clears throat> unsweetened chocolate and semi-sweetened chocolate and then of course our Andy's mints to make it a mint flavor. And so that created a solution of chocolate and then we added the chocolate solution to this to make the mixture and then we froze it or we put it in the refrigerator to cool off for just a little bit and then we put it in here for about 20 minutes. And that gave us a phase change from a solution and it's going to a solid. So that is some of the chemistry and science behind making this super yummy mint ice cream. Did yeah. you know you can learn science by cooking and making ice cream? <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right, so next let's see how it comes out, okay? Okay. All right, look at that. Mint chocolate ice cream. Ooh. All right, it's done. All right, it's all <laughs> finished. So there is our ice cream, right? And we take off the screw on the top. Like that. And some of this you're gonna need parents to help with. Parents, so this is a family project, right? Ooh, assistant, look. Oh my gosh, that looks this so good. This is the mix, right? So you're gonna put that in the bowl. So scoop some of that right into that bowl. Scoop some of the ice cream right out into the bowl. There we go. Ooh, that looks so good. It sure does. Wow. So that is our mint chocolate ice cream that we made with Andy's mint. And, and you know what? Since it really is only a few ingredients if you don't count the Andy's mint. Right. We had milk, right? Right. We had cream. Cream, organic milk, sugar, unsweetened chocolate. Unsweetened chocolate. Ma mm, kind of uh, like semi-sweetened semi -sweetened chocolate. Semi-sweetened chocolate. And then, that, and then the Andy's mint. So it's now, pretty... Let's good. add Andy's mints to the top of it. Yeah, so we can put a little Andy's mint right on top. All right, so here it is. So there is the mint chocolate ice cream. You even put some Andy's mints on top. And people at home, only 5% of you have subscribed to the engineering family, right? Right, and you guys need to subscribe. It's super important that you subscribe so you can learn more about science and cooking all together, right? Right. All right, guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching our gaming videos, make sure you subscribe to the Assistance Corner, right? Where you play. What games do you play? I play Roblox, Bug Snacks, Animal Crossing, PlayStation 5 games. So many fun things. But you need to subscribe to the Engineering Family and the Assistance Corner, right? Right.